Hello everyone. So in this video, I am going to be sharing my raw experience from giving Google Cloud Associate Cloud Engineer exam. I had given this recently in December, so wanted to share my experience about it. So just a brief about the exam. It consists of 50 questions on GCP services, which are around 40-45 plus services, and it had all the single answer correct type MCQ question, multiple choice questions, and the time allotted was two hours, that is 120 minutes. Also, you can find more information on the GCP website let me share the resources that i used to prepare for this exam so first of all i referred to this associate cloud engineer course by free code camp the preparation course it was quite detailed and it explained a lot of concepts in detail so it was helpful you can also refer the cloud engineer learning path present on cloud skill boost website for this you'll need some organizational license or credits or you can also use some learning program which is provided by google for free certifications or you can just view the youtube videos and prepare the notes so here are some of the courses from that you can also refer the same courses on plural site website as well and for practice question i had referred this exam topics website it had around 283 questions so out of which i was able to access around 260 questions i had went through each of the question and the discussion present in that question which also gave some links to different resources and often the correct answer is one given in the discuss section so the topics or the questions that i mostly found in the exam were based upon the serverless um, deployments uh, that is basically using cloud run or app engine and also gke versus compute engine which will be better to minimize the infrastructure which will be better to minimize the cost in that regards also there were some questions on bigquery looker studio the IAM roles and permissions that were a bit tricky ones and mostly uh, not most but around 40% 40 to 45% of the questions they were directly uh, asked from the exam topics for me so and the rest of them were pretty good in terms of uh, the detail uh, about the syllabus concern and it was good to answer them i just had uh, it it had actually it actually had quite a few of confusing options whereas wherein i was uh, thinking that two of the options might be correct so it needs a pretty deep understanding of the gcp services and concepts and so it required to revisit each of the questions around two to three times the 50 percent of the questions for me at least so that was my experience i had opted for a offline exam and uh, which was to be taken in a test center so i had to reach around 15 minutes before my schedule time of the exam and they used uh, my aadhaar card and one more identity proof such as pan card or driving license for the id proof and uh, after that they and you need to take a printout of the um, hall ticket or the email that you receive which has your test ticker authorization code as well as your test details so you need to take a print print out of that as well as your uh, id proofs and once that is verified by the center authorities they'll let you in uh, and you'll be assigned a computer uh, it was pretty recent one i would say and i was able to uh, start the exam uh, five minutes before as well and um, the, then i went through all the instructions and just i started with the exam my offline exam experience was uh, good so the last part is uh, some tips from my side i would uh, suggest that be thorough with all the gcp services as to what each of the service does and uh, which should be used to minimize cost or infrastructure setup or which roles should be given for which of the things you should be pretty clear with all those major topics and uh, for rest of the services uh, be clear with uh, what each of the thing does and if any uh, one two components or anything regarding those service services also uh, i'd suggest that uh, be thorough with the exam topics question they provide a really good practice uh, questions for uh, uh, that was uh, that were mostly similar in the actual exam so be thorough with that well most of the times uh, be having that most of the questions are in review that wherein two three options uh, might look similar but 
at the end you can review each of the question multiple times and at the end you'll get one correct option so try to review it more than once so it would be helpful and don't panic between the exams sometimes it the questions might be tough or easy but don't panic be calm that will help to ace the exam comfortably and so the result of the exam you'll get after you complete those those 50 questions and hit submit then you'll get a review from google regarding exam experience if you want to fill it you can fill otherwise you could skip and at the end you will see a pass or fail a result so that's a provisional result but most of the time that is similar and after that you will get an email uh, saying that you have uh, earned this batch new website the cp cert matrix website by google so in this if you go to home page you will see all these certifications that you have done so for me it's doing the associate cloud engineer and in this you can go to the certification transcript and the credentials and here you will be able to see the certifications you can view and it will redirect you to credly website to view the badge and download the certificate and everything yeah that's it from this video I'll try to post the things I learned in GCP, DevOps and backend development, DSA and everything. I'll try to be more regular on this channel. So do consider subscribing. If you found this video helpful, then you can give it a like. And if you have any other doubts uh, regarding the exam or anything or you want to share your experience regarding this exam, you can also share it in the comment section. I'll be happy to read the comments. Thank you.